Hey guys, it's Michi. I wanted to share a project with you, a Halloween project. Um, this is something that I made about three or four months ago, and I've been meaning to put this video up for a while and just haven't had the chance. So, um, this was something that I had purchased last year um, during the Halloween season. So, I wanted to go ahead and share it with you. Um, Halloween is a pretty big holiday in our household, so I tend to make things all year round just for that. Um, so in here, let me go ahead and show you. This is it. And I'm really, really happy with it. Um, uh, let's see, okay. So what I did first was I prepared the whole thing with white gesso. So I give it a little bit of tooth. And then um, the base color of the skeleton and the sign is like a yellow cream color. And um, so that was the whole thing I did. And then I took some black paint and I just daubed it all around the skeleton um, and the bones. Not so much down here on the sign, but that's what I did first. And then I used a, um, a lot of walnut stain to get that brownish, real dark brownish tone mixed in with the black paint. And um, then I decided it needed more. So I got the Tim Holtz Fired Brick <clears throat> Crackle Paint out. And um, I kind of just swiped it on here and there, and then I just took my finger and I just really just smeared it around with my finger, and I love the finished look. Um, and then I pretty much did the same thing down here, but I didn't um, do as much darkness as I did on the skeleton and the bones because I really wanted to see the beware. And um, so let me go ahead and bring this up close so you can see. You can see the crackle effect. It's real dry looking and aged. I just love it. And then there's a wire here that it hangs, which is nice. Okay, so, and then the back, I backed it with some red paper just so it can hold some a place to put the stickles. And it, it doesn't look good, but no one's going to see it because it's, it's going to be hanging on the wall. But... So I did the fired brick or the red stickles here and then the black for the nose and the mouth. Ah! Hi, baby. And then um, for the sign here, um, the word beware, I cut it from my Happy Hauntings Cricut cartridge. And then the black is like a very thin chipboard. I wanted it to be sturdy because I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to hang it. I might hang it outside. Um, I don't know, but we'll see. So anywho, um, so I got some acrylic paint, or acrylic stamps, and I stamped the web here and then the web here. And then I just added some of the spiders around. Okay. So that's my, my skull. And um, oh, yeah, and there's obviously some wire here holding the sign on the bottom. So I hope to see some Halloween projects from you guys. Please um, share it with me. Um, for Halloween is my by far most favorite holiday and um, I have some more Halloween projects that I'm going to be coming out with here. So anywho, I appreciate you guys watching and please leave a comment and um, thanks again. Alright, talk to you later. Bye.